Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to look into loop in Power Automate and this is the continuation session of earlier sessions where we are developing a tool called Excel Uploader Tool where the user will push the Excel file inside the document library and the data of the Excel file gets inserted inside the SharePoint list. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal to take it further. So guys, I am inside the Power Automate portal and we will take this further so over here i have done three changes from our last session where we have done some mistake while writing the code the first mistake we have done that here instead of a1 to k500 we are writing a2 to k500 so this is the first change you have to do in your program if you are following along with me another change you have to do inside the list row present in the table in this formula, we did a mistake and what the mistake we have done, I will show you. If you will see your formula, you are getting this expression. So instead of this expression, you need to remove the last parenthesis and you have to put it before question mark. Why? Because we are extracting this ID from this value. That is what we have to specify and that is the mistake which we have done while writing the formula. This is the second mistake which we have done. You have to correct it like this way. You have to just remove the parenthesis at the end and put it before question mark. Now let's proceed to the third mistake. So in the third mistake, what we have done in the filter array over here, we were using does not contain that is wrong instead of that you have to use is not equal to blank so that is the correct configuration you have to specify so now you have done the changes so now let's proceed further and over here i am going to use the loop to insert the record inside the sharepoint list so guys so far we have selected the records which has the data and we are keeping inside this particular step and that is in the form of array so i want to iterate that array that is select records output of this record and i will go through each record and that record i want to insert inside the sharepoint so how i will do that so let's look into that so to do that i need to add an action that is called apply to each so this is the looping control inside the power automate so i am going to use apply to each over here but there are other looping control also that is do until do until will be used in different scenario that we will discuss later but for this scenario we are going to use apply to each so i will use apply to each loop and within that i will select the output of select records so i will select this one now from this array i will pick item by item and that i will insert inside the sharepoint list so let's rename this one i am going to tell that loop and over here now next i want to insert the record to the sharepoint list so how we will do that so we will use the sharepoint connector over here i will write sharepoint and from the sharepoint connector i am going to use create item action over here so this action will help us to insert the record inside the SharePoint list. So over here, we need to specify site address. So we will put custom value over here, expression that you already know that I will use variables and the variables is where application context question mark and over here, I need to specify site address. And next we are having the destination list. So I will come over here, grab this key name we are having the destination list name i will copy this one it look like i haven't clicked on ok so let me write it quickly variables where application context question mark site address ok now we have inserted the site address do the same for list name enter custom value expression and i have copied this one i pasted over here and i will put destination list name over here okay and within the item i am going to put something called current item so i will tell current item current item of loop and what we are having over here that is select records so this is the output of the select record which is the previous step so whatever the value which is currently available inside this loop that i want to insert it and what we are having in the current item we are having the value all these values row by row that i am going to insert so i will tell over here item and select this current item that's it so we are done with the 
step so it is pretty much a straightforward over here you don't need to write any kind of a complex json over here you just need to specify the current item over here it will pick it up so now we are done with this step and along with this step we are done with our bare minimum excel uploader tool using power automate so now let's test it so first so first you have to save it so now it is being saved now let's go to the document library and let's upload the excel file but before executing it i just wanted to show that in our sharepoint list we don't have any data once the execution of the power automate program gets completed we will get the data over here which is residing currently inside the excel so let's drop the excel file over here i will come over here I will delete this one and I will upload the latest one. So now let's upload the Excel file. I will come here, click on upload files and I will choose employee award data 5 open. So now it will start uploading it. So now it has uploaded it. Now let's wait for some time so that our power automate program gets executed so let's go back to the run history so i will come here click on my flows context menu three dots run history and we have to wait for some time the execution of power automate program is not yet started yet so let's refresh it it is still not started so i'm pausing it once it gets started i will come back so over here you will see that it has started running i will go inside it and you will find that it has successfully ran now let's go inside the sharepoint list and let's verify that whether it has inserted the data or not and over here you will find that it has inserted the data and that is what our expectation is so this tool get the data from the excel and put it inside the sharepoint list so guys we are done with this session so guys in the next session we are going to build the try and catch logic so that in case of successful execution it will send me the notification of success or in case of failure it should send me the notification for failure messages so that is what we are going to build in the next session so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care